It's umsum time. <laughs> How do antiperspirants work? They work overtime and don't even take incentives. No. Huh? A type of sweat gland called apocrine oh. gland produces sweat which has fats and proteins. Bacteria on our skin eat these fats and proteins and produce bad odors. Oh, the odor is really gross. Hence, huh? to mask the odors, we use deodorants or antiperspirants. Deodorants make the environment too acidic or too salty for the bacteria to thrive, thus preventing the production of odors. On the other hand, antiperspirants enter the tube through oh. which the sweat comes onto the skin and form a gel-like substance. <laughs> this gel blocks the tube, preventing the sweat from coming onto the skin. Uh -huh. If there is no sweat for the bacteria to eat, then there will be no odor. Uh -huh. However, according to experts, some deodorants and antiperspirants contain toxic oh. components. Hence, we should avoid their excess usage. <laughs> Arg! Now, just wait and watch. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's pointless. No matter how hard I try, the great gravitational force will never let it happen. We are all governed by an invisible force of attraction called gravitational force. It helps us walk on the ground and ensures that what goes up ultimately comes down. Go away. Go away. Why don't you leave me alone? <laughs> That's because it's my brother, Shadow. Whether we are standing out in the sun or next to a light source, our body does not let any light pass through us. Nah, 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 nah. So what happens? A dark patch forms in the area where the light does not reach. The dark patch is called a shadow. What if shadows disappear? Doesn't matter. Amsum was never really afraid of shadows. Uh, huh? Firstly, if shadows disappeared, uh, huh? makers of horror movies will be severely disappointed. They will have to think of new ideas of scaring people. Hmm. Secondly, if shadows disappeared, huh? people may start missing shadows so much that they may start <laughs> looking for old pictures or videos wherein shadows were still visible. Hmm. Thirdly, if shadows disappeared, solar or lunar eclipse will not occur anymore. Stars and planets will get extremely confused. Hmm. hmm. Fourthly, humans as well as animals usually rest under a tree in order to escape from oh. sun's blistering heat. Hmm. If shadows disappear, it will not be oh. easy to avoid sun's heat anymore. Hmm. Lastly, if shadows disappeared, science teachers huh? may have to remove this topic. History teachers may include it in their teaching. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> topic. Nuclear fusion. Huh? Why is nuclear fusion not used uh -huh. to generate electricity? Hmm. You really want to know the answer hmm? to this. Right? <laughs> but wait. Before answering the question, hmm. let us understand what is meant by nuclear fusion. Huh? When two huh? lighter nuclei combine to no. form a heavy huh? nucleus, a large amount of energy huh? is released. Huh? This process is hmm? called nuclear fusion. Oh. Hmm? Where does this nuclear fusion take place? You think huh? that it takes place in a laboratory? <laughs> No, you are absolutely wrong. Nuclear fusion takes place in the sun. The nuclei of two hydrogen atoms join together to form a heavy nucleus of helium with the release of a large amount of energy. How do you think this energy reaches us? Ah. <laughs> nah, it does huh? not reach us through power oh. lines. Wait, I will tell mm. you. The energy huh? released after nuclear fusion reaches us in the form of sunlight, ultraviolet radiations, heat, etc. Oh. Huh? Hey, 
but we are already producing electricity oh. with the help of nuclear fission. So why do we require nuclear fusion? For this, you need to first understand the difference between nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. As we already know, nuclear fusion is the fusion of two lighter nuclei with the release of a large amount of energy. The exact opposite process happens in nuclear fission. Here, a heavier nucleus splits into two lighter nuclei releasing a large amount of energy. This process of fission is used in nuclear power plants, where a heavy nucleus of uranium is split into lighter nuclei. The energy that is released in this is used to generate electricity. Oh. However, there is a major disadvantage of huh? nuclear fission. Oh. Wondering what it is? Mm. Oh. The major disadvantage uh -huh. is that uranium is a radioactive element. Oh. When uranium mm. undergoes oh. fission, it generates radioactive uh -huh. waste along with energy. This radioactive waste is very harmful for most life forms and the environment. Oh. Hence, huh? we need to find oh. a clean and safe source of energy to hmm? generate electricity. Hmm. What source would that be? Would it be nuclear fusion? Bingo! You are right! Then why are we not harnessing the energy of nuclear fusion to produce electricity? This is because, for nuclear fusion, two conditions are required. They are high pressure and high temperature. Only when these huh? conditions are met oh. can the two nuclei travel at very high speeds huh? resulting in collision. Mm. Huh? On mm. Earth, huh? it is extremely difficult to create such high pressure huh? and temperature. <laughs> Even if we are somehow able to create these conditions, huh? the question is how will we control them? Oh. As there are many questions huh? unanswered and unsolved, mm? we have not yet mm. succeeded huh? in using nuclear fusion in the production of mm. electricity. Hmm? <laughs> what is a cataract? Huh? It may be a cat's nickname. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, a cataract is an oh. eye disease. How does it form? Wait, I'll explain. Hmm. Each of our eyes consists of a transparent lens. Is it similar to my camera lens? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. huh? Our eye lens is made up of water and protein. They are arranged in such a way that keeps the lens oh. clear and lets light pass through it. Hence, a sharp image is formed on the retina. Hmm. However, as we age, the protein begins to clump together, making the lens cloudy. Oh. This clouding of our eye's natural lens is called a cataract. In huh? such situations, when light from an object enters our oh. eye, the clumped protein blocks or scatters the light. As a result, a blurred image is formed on the retina thus making it hard to see. Hmm. How are smartphones changing us? Ha! <laughs> no one can change the one and only umsum! Yeah, yeah, you huh? show off. <laughs> Bending and staring down at our phones for several hours increases the stress on our neck and spine, leading to neck and back pain. Experts refer to this condition as text neck and it can eventually lead to serious consequences. Also, at night, when we stare at our smartphones, the light emitted from their screens makes our brain think it is still daytime. So, our brain does now produce the sleep hormone melatonin, causing us to stay awake for long hours and thus, disturbing our circadian rhythm which regulates our everyday bodily functions. This can lead to obesity, diabetes, cancer, etc. An interesting fact is that smartphone addiction has given rise to a new phobia called nomophobia, short for no mobile phone phobia. It is basically the fear or anxiety of being without our phone. 